I'd like to thank the Metropolitan Police uh, for giving me the opportunity to, to once again expose uh, the deficiencies of UK law because multinational construction companies can blacklist us, undercover police officers can spy on us, um, but not one of those wretches has been called up and been asked to give evidence in a court of law. Not one of them will face jail, but if we dare to protest about it, we're being called up, we're being arrested. You know, we've got a democratic right to protest uh, in this country, and being in court today is our opportunity to say, we, you know, we're going to defend the right to protest. Yesterday in the uh, Guardian, the front page of the Guardian was that uh, undercover police officers were not only spying on the Lawrence family and on trade union activists and, uh, and environmental activists, um, but they were also spying on MPs. And one of the MPs is named was Jack Straw. And Jack Straw is quoted in the paper today saying he's outraged, <laughs> outraged that the police were spying on him and he wants immediately to see the secret police files that were kept on him. Well, I've just got one message to Jack Straw. I think the Shrewsbury Pickets might be asking exactly the same thing to see the uh, secret police files that were kept on them when you were the Home Secretary, Jack Straw, and refused to release them. 40, nearly 45 years later, it's time that the Shrewsbury Picket files were released and we get justice to the Shrewsbury Pickets as well. We were protesting outside the Construction News Awards uh, just about the blacklisting. We're protesting about Crossrail because the biggest publicly funded cro project in Western Europe and the trade unions are not wanted on there. Anytime the trade unions raise their heads, anytime the workers can raise concerns about health and safety, people are sacked. It's not only people losing their jobs, people have lost their lives on Crossrail. You know, we're not going to put up with it. The fight against the blacklist is a fight for better health and safety on building sites. It's a fight for trade unionism. Thank you very much for coming down and supporting me this morning.